and Chico yeah. Fisher. This is Stephen McQuillan. And this is Liz Pearson. And this, this is, is FSMRX. FSM So hey guys, Stephen here from FSMRX and I'm here today with Stephen Cullen and Lewis Pearson um, and the guys are from CrossFit Catherine up the north, the first uh, guests from uh, the upper end of the country down with us and uh, just did a bit of Isabel and yeah, uh, Isabel. must admit that Stephen kicked your ass a little bit. Destroyed me. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> I thought I'd do anything I can't. <laughs> uh, guys, welcome to the show. Yeah, Thank thanks for much. having us. Thanks for having us. Okay, so uh, we have a few things we're going to talk about today, guys. Um, so, firstly, w the reason why you guys are down here is because of the tops we're wearing. Yeah. <clears throat> Ollie clothing. Mm -hmm. And i seen it on Irish CrossFitters. Yeah. And I was kind of like, well... I've I've interviewed a fair few different people, but I haven't interested someone that's like starting a new brand, trying to grow a company, yeah. and it's a be a great idea to kind of just see where you're at and how like how you're approaching it and how you're gonna work with affiliates and stuff like that. So for you, how did it kind of come about that? Like um, I'm gonna start T-shirts and then I'm actually gonna make it a business. Um, the initial idea came. I got it. I I picked up a rugby injury. Yeah. So that's my background is rugby and athletics. And uh, up to two years ago, I never done CrossFit. And then I was kind of doing it using CrossFit as my rehab. And mm. and there was just this gap. And like I felt I could fill the void with something, something that I could work hard on. Because if I couldn't put full capacity into training, yeah, it would have been like there. I needed something to focus on pretty much. And and I had I had a a, a business streak. Like I, I wanted to to make something of myself, but I, I just for like maybe two years I was kind of will I do this will I do that and, you know I had a, a few other things going on the side but I could never really commit to anything so whenever I, I seen the the gap in the market for like a clothing company especially in, in, in Northern Ireland and Ireland <coughs> and then with the initial idea if it could be viable to move over to mainland would be yeah. pretty cool and and I just wanted to kind of put my own creative streak into, into clothing and, yeah. and see where I could take it because like nothing to lose really you know so and there's not really in Ireland there is like t-shirt companies trying to branch into the CrossFit you see them at events and stuff like that and like, again nothing wrong but no one's kind of come like I haven't really seen anyone come from the sport background of like yeah. I train I yeah, know what yeah. I want to wear when that's, I'm wearing yeah, it that's a big part of it it's like we're, we're practicing what we preach so yeah. like today a bit, of, a bit of market research seeing how the t-shirts are reacting to training and We'll, we'll put them through the test today and I think that's a big part of it, the fact that we are yeah. like living, eating and sleeping the sport we're doing, the clothing for, so that's a big part of it, Like that, that's what we wanted to do, we're not just there to fire t-shirts out and, and to make money per yeah. se, like, so we want to wanna really live it and, and be able to give, get feedback from people wearing the tops and be able to apply that to, to the further, further tops coming down the line, you know. And where did the concept of Ollie clothing come from? Because I know you're oh, kind of well, CrossFit based and then people are assuming it could it be just as an Olympic lifting? Well, so what we're going to specialise in is CrossFit but also Olympic lifting and yeah. powerlifting. So we're going to kind of merge in working with barbells and, and we've got the CrossFit side of it as well. But um, we we'll, we'll want to be able to take it... Well, where do I want to take it? Oh, I've just got a complete boss there. <laughs> That's Actually, yeah. um, but like if you... so. You've got all the clothing, so you were saying that you have. You've, you were saying earlier that you have uh, a lot of kind of interest from yeah. powerlifting. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there, the, I, sorry for, but you have the, that could be bridging the gap between like, and there is a gap between the Olympic lifter and the powerlifter. And the yeah. CrossFit's kind of done a little them. bit there. I'm not sure. It's us and them. So, like you having powerlifters wear all clothing mm -hmm. would be a huge kind of. Step forward, and yeah, it's never been it's never been done. So it's a new it's a new concept. Big time, well. like you see a big gap, like especially from an outsider's point of view. It's like when you're looking in the CrossFit, it's it's like a, a niche. It's seen as a, a cult. Yeah, but almost by other sports and good cult. Yeah, <laughs> a good a good one. As all good cult, yeah. all cult people will tell I, you. It's I want to bridge that gap because like I have a lot of friends who do powerlifting <clears> and yeah. the benefit about 
across it because of all the things online and uh, bad form this or whatever. But we're trying to bridge that gap because at the end of the day, the, it's all about the pursuit of health. Like the way I go from A to B might yeah. be different, but the destination's the same. So like we wanted to bridge that gap into powerlifting and and uh, like for all I know, like I don't want to just focus on CrossFit or Olympic. Like I want to bring in powerlifting mates yeah. as well, and I want to join everything in together and kind of and establish the brand as as just a barbell functional movement fitness kind of mm. a brand. So that that's the aim. Like and we are bridging gaps, and that's the whole point of it. Like and we were kind of discussing that earlier because your uh, Stephen, your background is with swimming. Yeah. And I would I would lean to more I more into Olympic lifting personally, yeah. but we both have CrossFits. Yeah, very much we so. both program clients, and the the general goal is to make people better and fitter. Um, do you have you found that with your clients coming in? Uh, you had clients from like kind of different conditioning centers or CrossFits, kind of. Well, I'm not really into this because uh, you have to kind of you 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 have a CrossFit, but you also have your own philosophy on how you'd like people to work. And yeah, very much so. Like as individual, everyone interprets CrossFit differently. Yeah. Obviously every every affiliate has different programming or has someone else programmed for them. So for us, yeah, I mean we are there are four CrossFits in Belfast and we are very different from mm -hmm. them and they are very different from us. Um, and we have people from those CrossFits that train with us. We have other athletes, we have rugby players, gear yeah. players, swimmers, triathletes, etc. for strength and conditioning and we kind of you have to cater for everyone and we do try to mm. we have competitive crossfitters we have kind of the general parents who want to stay in shape guys who just want to move and you have to focus on everything yeah know? so um <clears throat> because i find that that, that that's a, that's a kind of big thing and you're you're coming in i know it's like people say well why would a clothing company be able to kind of bridge that gap between helping other crossfits get along and like different industries get along and um but yeah it could be like if you like everyone was wearing CrossFit tops like four or five years ago. Like I know when you when you first found CrossFit, and I know how long have you been two, but two, maybe two years, yeah. kind of. Like when I went to my level ones in Belgium, the reason why I hooked up with all these different people, I wore a CrossFit top, yeah. and yeah. they were like, "You're yeah. doing the level one." Yeah. Now I know it's a little bit harder now because there's just so many, mm -hmm. but it's that kind of thing. We all wear like we wore CrossFit yeah. tops, so yeah. it's like, "Oh, you're wearing all the clothing top." That's the kind of. The kind of brand awareness, the kind of concept that you're trying to yeah, bring, yeah, yeah, like yeah, it's you the same, fit yeah, stuff, almost the same okay. principle as like if you support well for your like Lancer rugby, you wear yeah. Lancer rugby top. It's the same principle. Like we don't necessarily have team tops to wear, but like if if we could build a brand that you know you could people know if they're they're crossing a barbell yeah. and stuff, you know people are going to know <coughs> or that tops a, a gym gym kind of yeah. top. But it's like if you're wearing Innovates, mm -hmm. generally you're into running, you're into endurance, you're. Or you're a crossfitter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're anti nanos. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's that kind of thing. Like for, for Ollie clothing, it can be like if you're wearing Ollie clothing, it's like you're in, everyone knows that you're into movement. Yeah, you're yeah, into big time. And that aspect, we, and that's we, huge. We didn't want to just go narrow down the route of, of just CrossFit because, like, well, for one, from business point of view, it, it's if you bring in those other two aspects, like you're widening your target base yeah. and stuff as well, and your demographic of people, but it's like, it's, we, you got to respect that like it is about getting to the the destination of, of improving health and improving wellness and and being able to be fitter than you were the day before and yeah it doesn't matter what sport you do and and that's a big part of it and I've really seen that especially in the last the last year or two is like just because the guy to my right doesn't do the same exercise as me doesn't mean he's not going to be as healthy or yeah you know that that's the kind of that's the kind of thing we're looking for like we didn't want to just go go down the crossroad route because it's like you've got the you've got Olympic lifting which is rapidly growing. Yeah. And you've got powerlifting which like in Northern Ireland I know the a committee for powerlifting was just established there, yeah. two thousand and fifteen. Like you look at England, like they had one twenty years ago. Mm. Like that just shows how far behind Northern Ireland stuff is. So we're we're slowly catching up and I think you need it was it was good that we got the timing right that we could deal with that and we'd be able to supply for the powerlifting clubs, the Olympic lifting clubs as well yeah. as the CrossFit gyms and stuff. So that was a big part of it. Like, So going forward, I know like we've seen a bunch of tops downstairs, some really good ones. I'm going to admit there was one dodgy one. <laughs> well, I think you're taking that out of line. Market <laughs> research. Market <laughs> research. <laughs> um, so you're, it's all going, it's all kicking off in yeah. January. January. January's kind of the kickstart campaign yeah. where Based off, Stephen's got a competition, the Revolution, yeah. um, biggest competition in Northern Ireland to date, is it? 
If not, probably, yeah. yeah. Well, it's up there, it's up there. I don't want to say anything to get in trouble, like, but it's it would be it's, 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 yeah, one it's of the right biggest, right. one of the biggest coming up, and and the opportunity came up, and it was it was kind of around the revolution. It was just make or break, like, will we go for it? Like, because it's a big commitment, and like, especially now, like, I have no real business background, yeah. and um, it's like off goodwill a lot and goodwill and motivation that just won't drive. Like, you gotta. Get your business like well. I know now. Like I've went, to, I've contacted like Invest and I, which is a a big concept up north, and yeah. they can get you in contact with advisors and and guys who are helping. Like I'm doing a business plan at the minute. Like I like three months ago, I would have just screwed my head up at a yeah, business. Yeah. I would have been like, oh, I don't need that. But there's big aspects of that, and you gotta back up where you're going with with things like business plans, and you gotta see what you need to mm. do to make it to down the line you know like in a year I know now that what I have to do is a big ask but yeah. I'm just willing to work for it I'm, I'm ready for it and the big the big campaigns come January after the revolution especially like it's all go 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 yeah. like especially for all the clothing it's a big year like and it's a it's it's a it's a great idea. It's a, again, it's a great concept. Like you got the likes of clothing companies like like in the states, like you got Hurt Locker yeah. and um, Rogue and Rogue and uh, it, like they're 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 huge and you like uh, Life is RX and yeah. all them different brands. And they they made the brand just because they they had a concept. They had the yeah, idea. Yeah, it's the same principle. We yeah. want to make some clothing. We want people to feel great when they work out. They want them to look good when they work yeah, out. Yeah. Um. And then yeah, you want. And it's just it can grow into something like they as can. simple as like like fitting and all them different things. It's the brand that yeah. is promoting a health. Yeah. And then people like and if it's a cool brand like t shirts cool. Yeah. You know? Uh, I I well, I wasn't aware of he actually yeah, was it? Which top do you want, Steve? And then it was like, well, you, can, you can't have that one, that one. <laughs> we're still in our early stages. Like that one. <laughs> you can have the grey one. So I'm wearing grey, yeah. It's, uh, it's still a nice top. It's still a yeah, nice top. I know. Um, so yeah, so... <clears throat> And the first kind of real where people be able to buy stock would really be at the um, comp, is it? Yeah. yeah, so revolution. The the main the main way we're shifting tops initially will be at the, the revolution. Yeah. Um like yeah, come along guys if you want. Thirtieth of January, um Aurora Banger. Uh yeah, we'll be shifting tops off off a of vendor stall. Um and then gradually we're gonna be going gym to gym trying to outfit yeah so like we'll be bringing different packages to people whether they've got a team or whether it's just for general like casual wear we'll yeah. be able to supply for that and we're trying to give something that like if, if a gym only needs casual wear then we can supply them but if they need performance wear we'll be able to do that too that that's the whole aim of it as well like we want to cover all all domains of that's, sorry uh, for cutting you off but that's that's another good aspect of it because I have to like for FSM and I for a lot of affiliates out there and uh, strength and conditioning. We have to source the tops yeah. and source the printer yeah, yeah. and do all. And it's a, it's a big time. painstaking. You know, yeah, right? I know. I know how hard sourcing can be. And, and yes, you you'd have it as well. Like, exactly, we have a lot of issues with RJ. Yeah. We have four months wait, so yeah, yeah. And new tops and, and new logos designed by this as well, which is nice. Yeah. So. And and something as simple as like I know for the next eight months, like yeah, I I'm doing I'm doing research, so I'll. Uh, I'll have to just approach the gym and, and if if I can cut out that middleman for them, I can say, look, if you need stuff in a month or two months or six months down the line, I'll be here and or yeah. give me a call and and that's the way. Like I'm just cutting out the middleman and, and the work for for the for the bigger guys and and it helps me establish my brand as well, yeah. you know, and it gets my brand out there and if it makes life easier, then happy days, you know. Yeah. It helps us because we obviously have Olympic lifters and part of it yeah, as well. Yeah. So we're going to get Olympic lifting suits. Yeah, suits. Well, that's another thing. Trying to get Olympic lifting suits. Exactly. I'm trying to get yeah. printed on his hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah big uh, time. I remember when he had to get a tri suit. <coughs> yeah. Just a tri leotard. Oh, yeah. You couldn't exactly. get Olympic lifting suits. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I know it was a few years ago and it's more access now, but like, yeah, that's that's brilliant. So guys, we're going to take just a quick break and then we're going to go back and talk more with Stephen, Cross of Castrum and the Revolution in January. Hey guys. If you enjoyed the show, head over to our YouTube channel, click the subscribe button, and you can get all the latest information from FSM, FSMRX, and our Q&A show, Coffee Topics. Follow us on Instagram, where you can find the daily goings-on of all our members, coaches, and athletes, and see what we're getting up to. And head over to Facebook, FSM Bray, give us a like and a share, leave a five-star review, and you'll get all the latest information on our upcoming events and shows coming your way. Your are the things that I could be